Hey everyone, uh, this video is regarding uh, stationary points. We're going to find each stationary point and determine the type. There are three types. And then we're going to find the coordinates of where the curve meets the x and y axis. So the x and y intercepts and sketch the curve and you may also check with your graphing display calculator. And here's the equation of the curve. So these are our steps that we're going to use to find the stationary points. The three stationary points you can come up with is a maximum or a minimum or an inflection point, which has to do with concavity. So going up and then it's going down. So um, let's get started and we're going to do the first step here. So we're going to find where the derivative of y with respect to x equals zero. So let's take the derivative. And when you take that derivative, you're going to get a 4x cubed. Now set this to zero, and you're going to get x equals zero. And at that point, x equals zero, if you plug it in, this equation, that point is zero comma negative four. So we want to determine if it, this point's a maximum, a point of inflection, or a minimum. To do that, we're going to take the second derivative So to find what kind of stationary point. So the second derivative of y with respect to x, um, we set that to 0. So we look at that equation, and the derivative um, of that equation is 12x squared. Set that to 0, and we still get x equals 0. Since it is 0, um, 0 could be either minimum, maximum, or a point of inflection. So what you do is you look at um, this equation here to see what it is. We're going to look and see from around this point, and we're starting at x equals 0, so if x is less than 0, if I plug a negative in derivative of y with respect to x, which is 4x cubed, if I plug a negative in there, like a negative 1, that's going to result in a negative. If I plug in a positive of this, I'm going to get a positive number. So we're switching from negative to positive. So a negative gradient to positive. That's going to be a minimum. So this is a minimum stationary point. That's the type. All right, and now to graph it, we also need to do um, um, find the coordinates. So basically, we do that, and again, this is where the gradient, I did a little picture here. When the value of the derivative is increasing, um, so is the rate of the derivative with respect to x is positive. So this is positive here, negative here, gradient is zero, that's what we set it to, and uh, so that's why this is a minimum point. Now, to sketch it, we also need to find our um, y-intercept. So that's when x is 0. When x is 0, it's negative 4. So basically, our y-intercept is our minimum. And then to find the x-intercepts, that is when y is 0. So let's set y to 0. <coughs> so you get 4 equals x to the 4th. And now let's square root both sides. So you get 2 equals x squared. So x equals, when you square root both sides, um, you're going to get x is plus or minus square root of 2. Um, you know that's about 1.73. So we have plus or minus square root of 2. So when you graph it, and I already graphed it, graphed it here and it looks like this it's kind of flat in here um, 
and you can also check with your graphing calculator and this is your minimum point that's it thank you have a nice day bye bye